Well, the sounder and GPS plays a big part of this style of mackerel fishing. So I've got a whole heap of marks that we've plotted in and we're going round and round. So we're marking balls of bait, but more importantly, we're actually marking the mackerel and what depth they're at. So you can see one there at the moment, I'm in, uh, I'm in fathoms. So I've got one marked there, around about eight fathoms down, a big single fish. And then there's some other fish marking a little bit deeper there. So that tells me what depth they're feeding at, what depth I need to have my bait at. And that's a great thing with that downrigger is that we can slide the bait down to that right depth and have it swimming through. Doesn't always mean you're going to get a bite because fish don't always eat, but we're coming up to a tide chain, so fingers crossed we might get a, a mackerel to take a bait here shortly. It's a bite, young bit bite. of a bite, mate. <laughs> Just hit the auto up on the downrigger there, mate. Right. It's using a nice little 15 kilo outfit here with. Uh, with some 20 pound braid on it and I've got a length of 40 pound leader down to that wire rig with that swimming garfish and uh, that little 30 size overhead reel lever drag perfect for these sort of for this sort of a uh, technique and while I'm using braid instead of nylon we're using the downrigger polyethylene or braid is much much thinner in its diameter than what nylon is so that means that we can uh, we can get the, the bait down deeper without having the drag of that line on the on the nylon, so that's why we're using braid. And certainly, always good fun to fight fish on braid. You can turn that motor off if you want, Barney. Yeah, mate. Go, mate. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, well done. Turn around and show everyone at home what that looks like. So that's a beautiful Spanish mackerel, uh, what they call a narrow barred mackerel. And uh, I think it's pretty obvious why they call them a narrow barred mackerel. We've got those narrow bars there. It's solid fish. He's probably between eight and ten kilos. Yeah. And those teeth, I'll get my pliers in there. I'm going to be brave with the pliers. Look at, and you can see why they can eat such large prey. They prey on all sorts of, uh, of uh, bait fish, but certainly reef fish as well. And that's why they do, in uh, northern parts of the world, can suffer from um, ciguatera poison because they're feeding on small uh, fish that are living on the reef and then they have the toxin and so on and so on but this one here i've got to tell you this one looks like a cracking one to eat big silver sides and uh, we might show you just how to uh, dress that out and get that ready so that when you get home you've got perfect uh, perfect fish meat to eat there's no point killing anything unless you're going to look after it